For today's message, let me tell you, it's been a great experience. What happened, and I want to share with you what happened with me to, uh, last week. I mean, this week, actually, because today is the last day of the week. You know, uh, in order to pay the bills, I, I work in construction. I repair walls and decks, I paint, I build those things. Uh, by the way, if, uh, if you know someone who needs that. <laughs> 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 so, you know, before I get in Chapel Hill, I didn't know that I was able to do those kinds of things. Because being 20 years in the spiritual journey, spiritual path, I was ready to, you know, do everything related to shamanic, shamanism things. Cleansings, clearing the energy of the houses, helping people transcend traumas, all of those things. But always struggling in the money part. So when I get in Chapel Hill and I was figuring it out, you know, when we came here, we came just out of inspiration. No friends, no nothing. The only thing that I knew that is a unity church in Chapel Hill. So that was my, you know, my hook. Unity is unity everywhere. If I say that I'm come from unity, everybody is, okay, welcome. <laughs> and that's what happened here. So we came out of faith. Totally sustained in our power of faith. We came here with my family, and this is the plane. So then I have to find work. Doing what? I am 50 years old, and uh, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. I can cook. I cook very well. So I start cooking some portions and selling that, but then I need more money because, you know, expenses, family, everything, car. I need two cars, maybe three cars. So then Reverend Rosemary asked me that if I can help her finding someone who can paint her house. And I said, okay, let me help you. I called someone, she gave me an estimate. And then I find another one, very well recommended too, and he gave me another estimate. So I had three estimates. And I asked Rosemary, which one he, he, she, she preferred. She told me, you know what, I'm going to forget about this estimate. I'm going to tell you what is my budget. My budget is like this. And I said, okay. So then I took the, you know, the middle class, class estimate. So I make some money. And then I said, oh, what if I start working as a contractor? The only way that I can do this job is if I am the boss. Because I don't know how to paint. I don't know how to use those tools. I don't know how to cut, but I know how to do business. So I take this place and I say, you know, Rosemary, you forget about your project. You trust me and I'll do it for you. So starting there, I, that's what I said. You know what? Forget about your project. You just gave me the money and I'll do it for you. I deal with all the people, all the tools, all the elements. So then I start receiving calls, calling, you know. Hey, Osvaldo, you're well, well recommended. Can you do this work? And uh, I said, oh, wow, okay, this is working. This is good. And people start recommending more. Next door is, you are very well recommended. Oh, really? I am? Oh, thank you. <laughs> so last, uh, last week I was working with uh, Tomas. He's a Venezuelan guy who was here with his family. So Tomas... He is the apostle that represents understanding in the twelve powers. So when I do my world job, I always connect with my spirit intuition. So I said, if I am working right now with Thomas, something to understand will come during this day. And that thing happened. What happened? Is that I was working replacing some siding, and I said, you see, my friend, in this country, it's very nice to work because we have tools for everything. And he said, actually, my friend, somebody told me a long time ago in Tampa, Florida, if you experience 
trouble doing something in construction is because you are not using the right tool. Because we have tools for everything. So then I said, okay, that's a very good piece. Because it, if in my life, I'm not experiencing easiness, happiness, balance. It's because I'm not using the right tools. So what are those tools? So I said, a lot of tools. We have this beautiful and powerful kit, 12 powers. Let's begin from there. And then we have much, much bigger tools. And I said, this Sunday, I'm going to take people shopping. <laughs> so today, Oswaldo is going to be the sales representative of this <laughs> magnificent, divine hardware store, UCP. So. I am the sales representative, and I have the hardware store here. What I need? I need you to be my customer. <laughs> I don't want your money. Oh, OK, at some point, yes, but during this exercise, I don't want your money. How are you going to pay with this? You're going to pay with time. What about that? It's a good deal. You give me time, and I give you the right tool for your process, for your project. So from now on, we can have this beautiful divine hardware store, UCP. You with me? Yeah. So ring, ring, this is Osvaldo. I'm calling from hardware store, UCP. Do you have time for me? You say? Do you know that we have an special this week? <laughs> we are offering three tools for the price of one. Are you interested? So what will be your next question? Exactly. You know, the tools for this week special are three powerful tools. First, calm, space, and patience. What about that? So, are you interested in this weekly special? Calm, pay, and patience. So, your question will be, how do I use it? It comes with a manual, Instructions, so I would say, go to our website and click <laughs> <laughs> and keep connected to UCP Divine Hardware Store. This tool that we call Calm, you're going to use it when you see your to-do list and you consider that there are too much things to do and not enough time to do it. Then you go to your little place and get this tool, and I'm going to show you how to use it. Then, once you are calm, you have to use the second tool that will be pay. Also, I'm going to tell you how to use it, because it will give you the sensation of you are Grounded, because most of the time we're looking for a space, but we are flying, mm -hmm. not grounded. Mm -hmm. So this tool, warranty, if it doesn't work like as I'm saying, I will give you your time back. <laughs> we will try another tool, OK? So this second tool will give you the feeling of you have enough time. You have a space to do this. And the third tool is the complement is of, of all of these two is patience. 
This will help you to handle the process of what you are creating. It will take time, you know? It's not right away. It's not an instant egg that you put in the school and it's ready. No, this is a process because it implies your energy, your life. Are you with me? Yeah. Are you interested in this tool? Yeah. <laughs> so let's go shopping. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and imagine you in your project. in your life project. Close your eyes. You are in your life project. You are in your day. And you can use this tool. Calm, space, Breathe. Keep your eyes closed. Breathe. This is the moment when you experience your presence. Your presence is the one doing the shopping. Take the time to come here today. So I want you to realize that you are already here. You are nowhere else. You are here. Breathe. Put your hands together and feel that union between your thoughts and your feelings while you touch your hands you feel your whole presence this is how you're going to use your calm tool putting together your hands. That represents that you put together your thoughts and feelings. Breathe and feel. You are experiencing right now the effect of the first tool. Um, remember for this tool to be effective your hands must be together Shardai, Shardai. here you are experiencing your divine presence and this is the effect of that, what we call calm. Now we're going to the second tool, the space. And we're going to use our hands. So you're going to start separating your hands very, very slow. But I want you to feel the energy between your hands. Uh -huh. Breathe and separate your hands, but I want you to feel the energy between your hands. Open. 
and I want you to feel like you are open, opening something new. Breathe and open. What you are really doing is opening your heart chakra. See, friends, breathe. And flow beautifully expressed by your heart. Breathe and feel. Perfect. We've been connected into the use of calm and spring. Feel yourself. Experience yourself. You see? It's really worth it. These are the most effective tools because it comes from this wonderful warehouse connected to your heart. experience by breathing in holding a little bit and then letting go again focus in the word patient when you plant a seed it takes time to grow. Patience. You experience patience when you see with your eyes the result of calm and spring. Patience. Wonderful world. Patients work better if you imagine a mirror when you see yourself in it. See yourself in calm and space. what you are. This is who you are. Breathe. Feel your presence. And we are about to check out. your time doing this exercise. Breathe. And when you are ready to open your eyes, just do it. This is our heart song, our song, eh? You get it? You know, I use all of these tricks 
in my life to support myself because I consider myself a very complicated man. So patience is, wow, very hard for me to use it. I used to think that I have to use patience with others, but then I realized that, uh-uh, <laughs> it's here. Patience with, with this impulse. Um, there will be more tools. There are more special next weeks. So remember to, to check your toolbox because uh, we always need different tools. If you are struggling with something, remember you need tools, so you have to call UCP hardware store. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>